I feel like, you know, it's not like it's random if I'm choosing, you know, and if I'm just dropped off there. Um, oh, okay. And it's not like I would have bear spray, you know, handy if I expect to encounter a bear. So. Yeah, but you wouldn't have the bear spray for the man either. Yeah, but it's different. It's randomly spawned, right? It's not like someone's just there waiting and I just stumble upon them. Okay. This is the context of the Does conversation. Does this change anything for you or no? Still bear? I mean, I've encountered bears multiple times okay. Washington, still so still bear. Still bear? <laughs> okay. Um, I think it would change for me a little bit because mm -hmm. then also it's not like, what are you doing in the woods? We can make like friendship over the fact that we both just spawned. You know, it is interesting that how like you frame a question even by just changing it slightly can change people's answers. I mean, this is actually really common with studies and why I think these like survey studies are actually bullshit because you can like change one word. Like you can even change a totally benign, non-relevant word in a study and you'll get a different response from people. But um, anyways, back to the point at hand. Uh, it, if you had to... Um, let, well, no, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so it is. it would almost occur to me though, those of you who like kind of change your answer, wouldn't like wouldn't there be a bigger fear for the button push because like you say why is the man there in the forest but i kind of feel like there would be more reason for him being in the forest that seems benign versus like you random like you randomly spawn the guy like the guy in the forest is probably just going on a hike or some shit I don't know. I don't know. It's like trauma from men. Maybe that's I think people do argument. things also when nobody's looking. That's what creates it. Like when yeah. people are in private environments. That's why a lot of uh -huh. essays happen sure. in closed let me, doors. Uh, Go out. So let me let me get through a couple more things here. So your concern, you guys' concern, is like the risk of essay and the risk that they physically harm you, murder you, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, what what percentage of men do you think would be like? What percentage of men do you think would do this to you? 30%. 30%? Okay, what about you? And 90% because I had it almost happened to me. 90%? So. Okay. <laughs> 20. 20%? 20 and then Deborah, what percent? I'd say like 15 ish. 15. So that was, uh, I'm sorry. Did you, you said 20? Did, what 30. Did you say? 30, excuse me. So it was 30, 90, 20, and then 15. Okay. I'm just curious for. Uh, you guys have any male siblings? Do you have a yeah. brother? Mm -hmm. How many brothers do you have? I have one older brother. Okay. Um, do you have a brother? I have two brothers. Okay. Um, are you prepared to say that 90% of your male family members, including cousins, would essay or murder no, a woman? No, I, I think there's like a small percentage of men that will do that, but not, not counting my family. Cause you said it was 90% of men. Yeah, well, my chances were 90%. I missed it by an hour that happening to me in the forest with a man that I knew that I, I I liked first. No, but you said ninety percent of men, so this would have to. Oh, uh, actually, I I, I re retract that statement. I, Sorry. So okay. I guess there's a small percentage of men that would do that. What percent? Maybe five percent then. Oh, now that I've thrown your ninety yeah. percent of your family under the bus. Yeah, after you did that, I was like, no, but okay. it made um, more sense. That you thirty percent of your male family members uh, are rapists or murderers. Um, most of them are or dead, but I mean, I was almost essayed by a family member when I was three, so yeah. Okay, and then going to you, 20% uh, of your family members are inclined to grape or murder? Not my family, oh, just like the general what, population, like 20% uh, of why, all men. What makes your family yeah. so much superior? Well, because I haven't experienced anything like that with my family members. I was just I thinking of the general population of men, like okay. 20%. Okay, and Deborah, are you willing to throw 15% of your family members uh, not Onto because of this, this, I knew this question was coming next. I still thought 15 when I said it was a little bit grand, but I was also thinking about society at large, but no, definitely not. In my family, they're very much value protecting mm -hmm. women, being strong men, making sure, like I said, sure. and then, taking uh, care of and women. And then also on this, uh, does it change for anybody here if it's 10 men versus 10 bears? Wait, sorry, what was that? 10 men versus 10 bears. It's so it's awkward scary. to see in a forest. Does that change at the same time for the, for the bear? Ten men at the same time. Yeah, ten men together, ten bears together, and you cross paths with them. I'd rather mm. see ten men. Does that change anything for you? Maybe I still stick with yeah, bears. Yeah, I need a second to process. I still stick with bears.